I'm going to run through the moon salutation sequence that I've been using in my own practice and also in my, um, my winter flow class that I've been teaching at this time of year. I like it because it takes the hips and the thighs and the glutes and the shoulders through a really nice range of motion. So I find I can be tight in these areas anyway, but especially at this time of year when the weather is a bit colder and damper. So it's a really nice way to keep everything flowing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to first of all run through the sequence with a couple of variations that you can choose between depending on your flexibility and what feels good for your body. So I'll run through just taking a couple of breaths initially in each posture. Then what we'll do is we will flow through and take about, hello Tala, I think you're probably blocking the camera. We'll take about five breaths in each posture. So we can really start to feel things soften and free up. Um, and then just before finishing up, we'll flow a little bit faster. So taking just one or two breaths in each posture. Sometimes at this time of year, it can feel like everything freezes or seizes up. And while we want to be a bit more gentle in our practice and our activity generally at this time of year, sometimes it's quite nice to just flow a little bit faster to get things moving. So we'll try doing that as well to see how it feels. Coming to stand at the back of your mat and turning to the right hand side. Inhaling to take the hands above the head and exhaling to side bend to the left. Thinking of taking the breath into the rib cage on the right hand side on the inhale and on the exhale just softening and relaxing and letting gravity take you down. Inhaling to step out wide to star pose, really engaging the arms and hands, grounding onto the outer edges of the feet and thinking of engaging the pelvic floor and lower abdominal muscles. Bending the arms, turning the feet out and sinking down into goddess pose and thinking of guiding the knees backwards and really opening. Again, making sure the shoulders are relaxed. Inhaling to rise and exhaling to stretch out long to the left hand side, bringing the hand to wherever it lands. Inhaling to open the torso and aiming the ribs and hips towards each other, letting the hand flow up into triangle pose. And gaze can be up or down here. Exhaling to bring the hands onto the shins with a flat back into pyramid pose. And you can choose to bring your hands to Anjali Mudra or reverse prayer position or to let the head sink and to bring the hands down towards the ground. Placing the right knee on the floor and lunging forward with the left leg. Bringing the arms above the head and relaxing the shoulders. And if you don't like having the knee on the floor, you can raise the knee and stay in a higher lunge. Side bending to the left hand side and depending on preference and flexibility, you can choose to stay in a higher lunge or to sink lower down to the ground. Moving into Hindi squat in the centre, using the elbows to guide the knees out and really inhaling to raise the torso. And if Hindi squat's not for you, it's your option to stay in goddess pose. Then we're repeating the sequence on the right hand side. So we're side bending to the right, again staying high, or if you prefer choosing to sink a little bit lower. Turning round to the right hand side, placing the left knee down and sinking into a lunge, relaxing the shoulders and again if you prefer you can take that knee off the ground and stay in a higher lunge position. Bringing the foot in slightly with a flat back into pyramid pose and again you can choose to sink the head and hands down or to go for prayer position or reverse prayer position with the hands. Opening out to triangle pose, gaze can be up or down.
bending the right knee to come safely up and opening into goddess pose. Stretching the arms out wide and straightening the legs into star pose. And then side bending to the left hand side to complete the sequence. So again, coming to the back of your mat and turning to the right hand side, inhaling to take the arms above the head and exhaling to side bend, relaxing the shoulders. Thinking on the inhale of taking the breath into the right hand side of the rib cage to create space and on the exhale, just relaxing the shoulders and sinking a little bit further. Inhaling to step out wide to star pose. Again, relaxing the shoulders, really engaging the arms and hands, grounding onto the outer edges of the feet and letting the arches lift slightly, thinking of a lift in the pelvic floor and gently engaging the lower abdominal muscles. A nice, full, deep yoga breaths using your full lung capacity and exhaling fully. Turning the feet out, bending the arms, opening the chest and sinking down into goddess pose. Thinking in this pose of guiding the knees outwards and really getting a nice opening in the inner thighs and hips. Relaxing the shoulders and just letting gravity work on the exhale. Inhaling to rise, exhaling to stretch out long and let the hand land where it naturally falls. Inhaling to turn the torso towards the long side of the mat and let the arm float up. And when we're in this position, we're thinking of hitching the, the lower part of the rib cage and the hips towards each other, really creating space in the torso on the inhale and exhaling to let gravity work. Exhaling here to turn round with a flat back into pyramid pose and choosing to either adopt one of the hand positions or just to sink down and let your head um, drop towards the floor and just really relaxing here coming into lunge now with the left foot forward right foot back and choosing whether the knee is placed on the floor or whether you prefer to raise it off on the inhale, really taking breath into the torso, relaxing the shoulders, and on the exhale, sinking a little bit lower and getting a nice stretch in the hip flexors. From here, we're side bending to the, sorry, we're um, side lunging to the left hand side. Again, either staying low and flexing the right foot or staying a little bit higher if you prefer. From here, coming into either Hindi squat if you're staying low or if you prefer staying a little bit higher in goddess pose. And if you're in Hindi squat, thinking of guiding the knees outwards just gently with the elbows, relaxing the shoulders and back and down and really inhaling into the torso, exhaling to sink down um, and again get a nice opening in the, the hip area. Repeating the, the sequence now on the opposite side. So we're side bending to the right. Again, choosing whether to stay low or come a little bit higher and just place the hands on the right thigh. Turning round to the right hand side now to lunge, again either with the knee down or with the knee off the floor and just remembering the breath. Nice full breaths using the full lung capacity and exhaling fully and just getting that relaxation response especially at the end of the exhale. Shoulders are relaxed. 
tucking the left foot in and coming to pyramid pose with a flat back and choosing whether to let the head drop or whether to stay a little bit higher. Inhaling to open out to triangle pose. And again, just thinking of hitching the hip and the rib towards each other. Gaze can be up or down and really opening the, the torso on that inhale. Really just getting a last opportunity to let gravity work on the exhale. Coming back to goddess pose. Opening the chest, relaxing the shoulders, guiding the knees outwards and nice full breaths. Remembering to engage the lower abdominal muscles and the pelvic floor. Inhaling to rise and stretching out to star pose. Again, remembering to relax the shoulders Another opportunity for nice full breaths in and out. Side bending to the right hand side to complete the sequence. Turning to Samasthiti He. Moving a little bit faster. Inhaling to take the hands above the head and exhaling to side bend to the left. Inhaling to step out to star. Exhaling to sink into goddess. Inhaling to rise. Exhaling to stretch long, letting the hand drop and inhaling into triangle pose. Exhaling to turn round to pyramid pose and let the head drop. Inhaling to move into lunge. Exhaling to sink lower. Inhaling to side lunge to the left and exhaling. Inhaling to move into Hindi squat. Exhaling. Inhaling to side lunge to the right and exhaling. Inhaling to turn to the right and move into lunge and exhaling to sink. Inhaling to step into pyramid pose and exhaling to sink. Inhaling to open out to triangle pose and exhaling. Taking an extra breath here if it feels good. Inhaling to move into goddess pose and exhaling to sink. Inhaling to rise to star pose. Exhaling to side bend to the right hand side. And returning to Samasthiti He to complete. So that's the, the moon sequence that I've been flowing through um, this winter. Hopefully you can play about with it and um, use it to keep your bodies feeling good and feeling flexible over this winter season. And as I say, if you can commit it to memory and play about with it, and if you're really focusing on the breath, on how the breath feels, on what version of the pose is best for you, you get the, the benefit of your body feeling more comfortable, but you get the added benefit of your mind just getting a chance to still and settle. Because if it's focusing on everything that you're doing and really noticing what's going on with your body, it can't be off wondering and thinking and um, generally being busy. It's also nice to get just a nice piece of music that you, um, that you enjoy flowing through too. So that's another little suggestion. So hopefully you find this useful and maybe see you on the mat sometime.